Hey, what is up, everybody? It's me, Yellow McSwagging, and this is a different kind of who would win, or WWW, because this time we don't have a fight to the death, or just a fight between two people. We have a fight to the finish line. We have the main character from Need to Speed, Player, the 2005 version of the game, Need to Speed Most Wanted, versus the main character of the Fast and the Furious franchise, Brian O'Connor. To determine the winner, we will analyse both characters' ability on the track and also be talking about some essential facts to use maths to calculate the fastest racer, which will then in turn make out the winner. So starting off, we have the player from Need for Speed Most Wanted, the 2005 version. The player's ability on the track all depends on the player behind the wheel, but for this battle, we are going for the highest speeds and best track records of all time for this competitor. The top speed is 251 kilometers an hour by one of the best cars in the game. And I, I know it's not miles because I'm Australian, but anyway, you can, you, can, you can deal with it. It's going to stay in kilometers. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get back. Enough of the mini rant. Let's get back to the track. No one has ever cracked 300 kilometers in the game. Uh, and this record belongs to the 251 miles an hour, kilometers an hour, sorry. Record belongs to Lemmings90. And I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel. I have looked it up and I couldn't find it. But I will link the thread in the description below where I found this information. But since there is no confirmed fastest lap time, we're going to have to go with the most uh, immobilized cops, which is 248 in a single match. This is a god amount, and even though Brian is an ex-cop, I don't even think he can do that. Now moving on to Paul Walker's character in the Fast and Furious series, Brian O'Connor. Brian's fastest speed he's ever travelled is not confirmed. I don't know why I started that. But we're just going to take a pot guess and say it's probably between somewhere between 250 to 300 km hours. So let's go for 275 for the sake of the video. Uh, giving him the speed advantage over the player. His fastest lap isn't confirmed, and he has done many laps, none of which are easy, so we can't guess this one either, but we do know his backstory. His early life, Bryant was born on July 14th, 1978, raised by his mother in Bar Barstow, California. He remembers little about his father and has no memories of what he sounded or looked like. During his childhood, he befriended another Barstow local, Roman Pierce. The two often caused trouble, among other ill-advised activities, and played sports such as football, American football that is. Roman and Brian attended high school together and often dated the same girls. Roman dating the girls Brian, no, Brian was no longer romantically involved with. When, Brian and, when Roman and Brian attended prom, Roman presumably had, had intercourse with an easygoing woman, nicknamed No Knees Denise. At some point in time, Brian earned his driver's permit. Driving away with his mother on four freeway, the brakes on the car in front of them locked up and hit, and another car hit them from behind, causing a five-car pileup. Brian was later sent to juvenile detention for two years in Tucson for committing dr grand theft auto. As an adult, Brian joined the Los Angeles Police Department, which cost him his friendship with Roman, who did not trust the police. Two months into his earliest tenure in that force, Roman Pierce was arrested for hou housing stolen cars in the garage. While Brian was not involved in the Roman's arrest, Roman assumed he could have done something for him and later resented his childhood friend his, with his association and with the law. Now, this was the hardest battle to calculate the winner as quite a bit of math was involved in this. Let's make them race at a, at a 100 km track, saying that it takes each car 10 seconds to get up to their fastest speed. It would take, it would take and they both travelled 300 metres to get to that speed. For Brian, the formula we need is 99.7 slash 275 equals 0 0.362 hours, which then converts to 21.72 minutes. And for the player of Need for Speed, it is 99.7 slash 251 equals 0 0.365, which converted to, which would take 21.90 minutes to complete that 100 kilometer race. So now that we've determined that Brian would win that part, when the cops turn up, the player for Need for Speed, most wounded, would get a, a, a ton of them, but eventually would go down. But Brian, being the ex-cop, would be able to scoot away in the chaos and escape police capture like we've seen the first Fast and... Oh, it might be the second one. I can't really remember them that well. <laughs>
And now this is the final result. I hope you guys did like this. This video took an extreme amount of work, so it will be extremely appreciated if you drop a like and also comment a suggestion down below. And also subscribe to this channel to give uh, me some support and also to keep up with all this uh, content that I have rolling out for you in the next couple of days, weeks, and years. So <laughs> I hope you guys did like this video. Make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.